Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411 for Friday. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. Well, SPX firmly over 3,000 now, another extension to the rally today. And with that, we're seeing the VIX under pressure. VIX currently right around the 1215 level, some downward pressure. This is the low end of the range really going back to April now when you look at how the VIX has moved from that May disruption. We're now seeing a staircasing lower in the VIX cash as vol expectations are being reined in. And with that, we're seeing the VIX under pressure. But looking at the future though, we're still seeing a pretty good premium there and it's to be expected. We got 17 trading days left in the cycle for the August cycle. That front month future currently around around 14.20. So $2 in premium there. And if you go out to September, 15.80. So again, steep contango between August and September. And again, that's something to consider, particularly when you look at the ETPs or VXX, for example, with that steep contango, that is a headwind for those types of products. Looking at VVIX, measure implied volatility for the VIX options, low end of the range, 81. Some selling pressure today. We're seeing some selling of calls, uh, a mixture of buying and selling, but some heavy selling uh, in the September complex, September 20s, a uh, big seller there. We did see a buyer of sub 18s, but the real big trade today, I guess, is, is on the buy side, and that's the SEP quarter calls. 125,000 of those were purchased this morning. So we are seeing, again, some upside uh, call buying going on, which, uh, again, with the VIX down here at these levels, and even though the August and SEP futures have some premium in them, uh, again, the expectations are for some meme reversion here in the next couple of months. Looking at uh, next week, we have uh, some big items to fo focus on, highlighted by the Fed announcement. We also have consumer confidence earlier in the week and personal income and spending as well, and some earnings rolling out, but certainly all eyes will be on the Fed. We got a little hint from the ECB on Thursday. Now the expectations are the Fed's going to cut a quarter point. That's what the market anticipates, and I think that's another reason why you're seeing volatility expectations being reined in here with those expectations currently in place.